Hey, it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing a look using this. This is from Charlotte Tilbury and this is her Instant Eye Palette, Smoky Eyes Are Forever. And I want to... I've explained this before, but I'm going to explain it to you really quickly again about how her palettes work. So how they work is all of the, every three is a palette. So that's a, wait, that's a palette, that's a palette, that's a palette, that's a palette. That's how this works. Um, I don't always like to do that. <laughs> I don't always like her, her combinations, and I don't think they are always going to work for everybody. So I'm just going to do it the way I want to do it. Okay, I think it's nice that, you know, she's trying to be helpful and everything, but, you know, I just, um, I want to do it the way I want to do it. So I'm going to create a look using this palette. So I already have my eyeshadow on. Eyeshadow on. I already have my eye primer on. I just want to powder this really quickly before I begin. So I'm going to go in. I'm actually going to take this color right here, this kind of taupey brown color. I like to use colors like that on my crease to begin. Now sometimes I have palettes that don't have a color like that, so then I you know, take something from another palette. I like when they, when palettes come with some sort of a neutral color to start in my crease. The reason I like to do that is because it just helps blend all the other colors in. It just, it gives you more of a seamless look. I like that look. I really try to blend as much as possible. I just really like that blended look. Now, another thing that you can do, you could take a bronzer. This, this is the Charlotte Tilbury one. You don't have to use it. But you can take a powdered bronzer and you can put that on your crease and you can get the same sort of uh, effect, okay? I'm going to go in with this. I'm going to go in with this brown color right here, brownish red. Now, one thing I will tell you about her browns, they're not my favorite browns. The reason is there's a lot of red in it. Sometimes it can come off not looking as brown on I me. Mean, we'll see how this one is. But I'm going to put this on my outer corner. And I'm going to work it up and I'm going to go across. And I want to keep all this area like I, I don't want to put anything on there yet, okay? And now I'm going to blend it. And when I'm blending it, I don't want to go outside this area, okay? And I want to keep it up here and we're going to blend it across. Just like that. This is going to be a very easy look, but I feel like I do pretty easy looks. I don't do anything really complicated because I feel like most of us don't have time for that. We just need easy, right? And if you don't have this palette, just use colors that are similar. Okay, that this was my BK Beauty brush number that was my BK Beauty brush number 205, by the way. And this is my refer brush number 27. This is the one that I am blending with. So basically I'm doing the same thing with both my eyes here. Yeah, see it has a little bit, I feel like her browns have a little bit of a reddish tinge to them, if you will. It's kind of like, like red clay. You know what I'm saying? It just has that kind of a tinge to it. Now, if you ever are doing this and, you know, you're blending it and you're like, oh, it's still kind of, you can kind of see the out, um, even though you did that crease color, you still see it. You can go back in, which I'm going to, I'm going to go back in with that same crease color. I'm going to go on top of it now and I'm going to just buff it out a little bit more. But another thing that you can do is you can take a, a powder, like a finishing powder, a setting powder bronzer and just buff it out. Now I am going to get a brush that's a little bit more dense and this is my number one brush from Ruffer. So sometimes I got to bring this in to blend it out a little bit more. Before I even get to my eyeshadow on here I'm going to use some brown eyeliner and the first thing I want to do is I want to, uh, I want to put a little bit on top of my lash line. This is Barbarella Brown, by the way. I'm going to go inside my waterline. I 
and then I'm going to go and do that, which I know is very dramatic, but this is a smoky eye look that I'm trying to create. So and then I'm going to soften that some more too. the look the difference between the two <laughs> okay now I'm gonna go in and I'm actually you know I'm gonna take that brown color that I was using and I'm put a little bit of that on top of this kind of soften that up this is a very dramatic eye okay I don't think you can do a smoky eye without it looking dramatic. I'm going to take this. This is my Fit Glow Beauty brush that I use for blending out my powder for my concealer. So I'm just going to use a little bit of that underneath. It has a little bit of probably powder left in it. See how that softened it up a little bit more? It's not as harsh. I think I actually took too much off though. I'm going to put a little bit more back. Oh god, now i got too much again. Honey. Hmm. I think I'm going to go in with this color right here. And I'm going to just use my finger today. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> wow, I didn't realize it was going to be that. Wow. I didn't think it was going to be that shimmery. Oh my goodness. Oh my. I feel like I... I'm just going to go back over because I kind of messed that up. Oh my. Wow. That I've, I've used that before, but I guess I forgot how... Um, that was very shimmery. Okay, we're going to dust. That is very messy. Oh my goodness, I made a mess all over my face. Hopefully I can... Fix. Oh fuck. Oh my god. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna have to fix that because um, that did not go as planned. So this is my final look. So I've been playing around with this for a while, and I do really like this palette. I did find these. Some of these to be a little bit, this one to be a little bit difficult to blend. This one's a little bit difficult for me today too. Um, I have used these. I like those. But this is a really, really nice palette. I do like Charlotte's eyeshadows. This is what I'm going to say because I shared it in my other video. A lot of times her palettes tend to repeat. So you have to be careful. Don't jump on the latest whatever. Somebody recommended this to me, and so that's why I purchased this, okay? But I wasn't really planning on purchasing it. I think it's really pretty. I'm glad that I have it. I have a lot of her eyeshadow palettes. But you don't have to jump on every one because, I, like I said, I do feel like they repeat themselves. But this is a really, really pretty color. I know it's nothing out of the ordinary. I'm going to be sharing some other looks for you guys um there's some that i had to redo though i i filmed some videos and i was like ooh, no i don't like the way they turn out i'm gonna be honest i don't know if i like this lip color that i'm wearing today but we are gonna go with it and we're gonna be okay with it okay i think normally i would have done more of a peachy color maybe i don't know i tried to fix it it is what it is but anyways i do really like this if you have it share in the comments if you like it don't like it share in the comments because again this is what this is all about here this is a community that I built with you guys, okay? And I want you guys to have a voice. I love that you guys help each other in the comments. I love that you guys say if you like something or don't. The only time I don't like agree with stuff, I'm going to tell you this right now. <laughs> the only time I don't always agree is this. When I've shared, I don't think I have in front of me, do I? Yes. When I share this Peter Thomas Roth and I hear people in the comments, very few people, but some people say, then doesn't work. It's because you're not applying it right. I've said that before. This stuff does work, but it is finicky and you have to apply it right. You do. And the people that know, know. I mean, somebody left a good comment. Uh, I think it was on my TikTok because somebody said that. And they said, when you think you're applying a little bit, do less. <laughs> That's a little product you use. I mean, this is a huge tube. This is ginormous. 
I don't even know if you're going to ever go through it if you use it every day because you use the teeniest, tiniest amount. You don't want to overwork it. I know the video wasn't about that, but that's the one time that I'm like, no. But I mean, like if the other things don't work out, um, they just don't work out. You know what I'm saying? But that's one that you have to just work at. So anyways, I just want to say that. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Really hope that you enjoyed this video and I will catch you guys at home in my next one. Bye.